This is a Brother Bear Man. Okay. Um, this is a motherboard of a Mac uh, computer, a 17 inch. And I did a reflow, but I have to do a, another reflow, which would be a re reflow. And the secret is you, uh, you take this heat gun and you heat up the uh, chips uh, right along here. This is the RAM that controls your uh, graphics uh, with the NVIDIA and a little bit of RAM. And when you heat it up, you heat it up for about uh, five minutes and you have the uh, nose of the gun. The uh, video is a little shaky here. You have the nose about four or five inches away and you heat it up. And then you uh, leave the board alone for 10 minutes. Again, do not touch the board or move the board for 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, you flip the board over. Oh, look, there's more RAM. So the 17 inch models do have extra RAM. The 15 inch models have, you know, just uh, RAM on one side. So these are a little bit more complicated. And then after you do the reflow uh, here, let me just uh, do this. And you do it, of course, uh, basically uh, for five minutes of running the gun. And then you do not touch the board because if you touch the board or move the board, these chips will fall off and you will ruin a brand new motherboard. These are about $900 used or close to $1,000 new from Apple. And uh, yeah, Apple does charge a lot. So I just want to give a heads up. So basically that's uh, how you do uh, reflow. I get about $350 bucks, uh, for doing this with a guarantee and if for some reason it doesn't work I would uh, give them another Mac to borrow and or uh, have if I fail and I've done that twice with other customers and ideas to keep them smiling uh, Volca Research uh, across town uh, here in Colorado Springs they charge $749 plus tax to do a reflow and I've only had one fail me so one out of 12 I've done 12 so far uh, a lot of Mac motherboards and so basically I uh, just want to mention again, uh, you heat uh, one side, leave the board alone for 10 minutes. Do not touch the board for 10 minutes because the solder is hot. It's a five layer board and then you flip it over and you do a flow on the other side with the heat gun for five minutes. And do not touch the board for, again, 10 more minutes. And then you can pick up the board and put it back in the machine and reconnect all the connectors.